Hello, and thank you for joining us. In this presentation, we're going to be talking about electronic signatures with iManageWork 10 and DocuSign. Now, you're probably wondering if you should be watching this video. Well, here's a couple of questions to help you get to that answer. Do you have contracts that require electronic signatures? Do you need to get a document signed without a complete workflow process? Is it critical to have the audit information about the digital signature stored with the document in the repository? If you answered yes to any of these questions, well, it probably makes sense to watch this video. So let's get started. Here we are in iManage Work 10, and of course, our objective is to get a document signed, in this case, the Mutual Non-Disclosure Agreement. So I'll scroll over to my menu options. The bottom option, Request Signature. So I will click that. Now I'm asked for that first signator. I'll put the name in, Adam Storch, and the email address. And of course, needs signature. I'm gonna add another person. In this case, we're gonna add Jason Jolly. All right. In his case, I don't need him to sign, just want him to receive a copy. You'll also notice down the left-hand side, the sequence number. If you've got a number of people, you can add those people and then change the order as needed. So this is the sequence on how they will receive things. Obviously, first signed, and then it will head to Jason, so he's got a copy of it. Our subject line right here, also a required field by virtue of the asterisk. I can update this if appropriate. I can say DocuSide signature, please. Okay. On the message, this is the message in the email notification they will receive. I'll remove the S. So this is only one document in this instance. Had there been more documents I want to add to the envelope, I'd simply hit the plus sign and add those documents. You'll notice here, folder location, this is where the executed files will go as well as the audit file. By default, it's going to show you the folder where the documents were originally retrieved from. I'm going to change that. So click on that. And I'm going to go to my favorites list because I know it's a favorite. And of course, here's that supporting, I'm sorry, working documents folder we started with. I want to put in the executed documents. So I click on that and just hit select. And now the executed documents and the audit trail will go directly into the executed documents folder. I'm all set. I simply hit submit. Documents are off for signature. So now all I need is my email notification letting me know I have a document to sign. Here it is. I'll double click it. From here, I'm just going to hit review documents right here. And of course, my document comes up for signature. I'll hit continue. Name, we'll drop that right here under name. Title. Date. And of course, the signature. All done. Just hit finish. So we've signed all our documents and received our email notification that the signature process is complete. Let's go check out our executed documents folder. And there, of course, are our two documents, the actual signed document that we did. So here is our signed document with our updated metadata. And then, of course, if I go back, we've got our certificate of completion. You're all set. So what did you learn? Well, you learned you can easily sign documents from iManage Work 10. You can add additional documents to your envelope if needed. You can control where the executed documents are returned and storing the audit trail for the signatures with a document is very easy. So what are your next steps? Well, it's time to reach out to MicroStrategies so we can help you like we help our other clients.